You've created a model and you want to look at all the different outputs that you can get from that model. So one of the first tasks you might like to do is to create a drawing. If we expand the view in view 2, we have a very simple wireframe model. In top view here, we can see that if we rotate around, you know, it's just a wireframe view with everything visible and seen in wireframe mode, but not very descriptive. We need to start to massage this model in order to be able to communicate to other people as to what's going on. So first thing we could do is look at creating a plan. So in order to do that, we might rotate to a front view and we can come up to our navigation up here and go to building design. And within building design, what we'll find is we have a tab called drawing production. And in drawing production, over here we have a whole bunch of view standard views. So we can create floor plans or use a plan call out to create that plan. We can also do sections, elevations and details. And all those will be stored in a dialog box that looks somewhat like this called the save view dialog box. So let's have a look at creating a plan. If we create the plan, what we have here is a dialog box that we should pay attention to every time we go to create one of our standard drawings. And we have something here called a drawing seed. Now the drawing seed is extremely important. Drawing seed, which is like a template, can be set up to give us the initial look and feel of all our drawings. We'll choose one of the delivered ones called Arc Floor Plan. And from here, we will have a start point of our call out and run that along here, just above the floor line, place the end point and then project it down to the distance that we'd like to see this in the forward view. And then we're presented with this dialog box. The Create Drawing dialog box, while looking busy, is really broken down into three sections. We have our view settings, which are typically governed by the seed that we choose. In the next section, we have drawing settings. And the drawing settings, in essence, allow us to create another model, or 2D model that is, that references the view to that model for further editing. And if we choose to take that further, we can create a sheet to put that on all in one hit. But typically people like to do that later on after they've managed their sheet creation process. So in here, what we'll do is we'll create the drawing model, but not create the sheet. We'll do that again later on. And the final tick box at the bottom is open model. It will open the last model or file in this list. For this purpose, we'll turn that off and we'll just say, okay. The call out appears. We have the new plan one um, view in our dialog box here. And we can either double click it here and click in the view to see what our plan looks like. Or we could take advantage of hovering over the call out and the mini toolbar, which allows us to do a, a number of things. One of which is apply the view. A quick check of the down arrow will allow us to check the settings we require are on. And here we can have a better plan representation of our building. And what you'll notice here is we have certain bits of re-symbolization. For example, the walls have hatch. The doors are only seeing their 2D symbology. And it's clean and tidy to then issue to another person. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.